everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about a product that I've been using for the past 10 months, um, and that is I Envy. So a little background about, I guess, my eyebrow history or my eyelash history. Like we all do, I over-tweezed my eyebrows. I had naturally really full, thick eyebrows, and because of the shape of my eyes, I found that it really closed my eyes and I wasn't happy with that. So I started to tweeze when I was about, oh God, I don't know, maybe 13 or, you know, before like getting into high school, I really wanted to like define my eyebrows a little bit more. And I tweezed and tweezed and tweezed until my eyebrows were stick thin. And now I'm paying for it. Well, not anymore. Hashtag thank you. But I used to pick my eyelashes. I used to pick my eyebrows and just like, it was very satisfying seeing the hairs come out and I don't know why. And I, and I know I'm not the only one out there. I know a lot of people do that. Obviously, I, I suffered from it. I lost my eyelashes. I used to have long, naturally curly, full eyelashes. And because of this bad habit or pick at it and pick at it until you know, I'd start to see sparse areas in my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And anyways, I went through many years of that just sparse eyelashes and eyebrows to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm done. I want to regrow them. And so I tried regrowing my eyebrows and your eyelashes naturally go through cycles of when they fall out naturally and then new ones will go in. So my eyelashes were, were here and there. Sometimes they grew in, sometimes it didn't. It's, it wasn't as thick and lush as I wanted it to be. And same goes for my eyebrows. But even not tweezing my eyebrows and trying to let it, the hair grow out still wasn't wasn't working. A lot, I had a lot of bald spots, especially towards the end. I, I tweezed too much at the end of the tail of my eyebrow and I had a hard time growing that part back in. So this year I was introduced to a product actually from my last video uh, I discussed Alouette products and the girl who hosted the show she also sold INV. This is a Canadian company and it is also cruelty free. You sell this in the US. I'm not sure if they sell this internationally but you cannot purchase this online. You can only purchase it through authorized retailers or um, salon or spas and also authorized dealers so typically beauty professionals this tube comes in two sizes right now i have the 3.5 milliliter size and this one costs 99 plus tax um, and they also have a 2.0 ml size and that one is $69.95 plus tax. Now one tube will last you approximately nine months. So to start using this product, um, you're supposed to use it right in the morning when you wake up because that's when I guess the pores of your eyes are um, open and they absorb more product as opposed to your, your skin or your face absorbs more product at night. Your eyes absorb more product during the day when you first wake up. So you open this, and I guess I should show you, you won't be able to see it, but it's a very fine tip, almost like an eyeliner. And you pull it out of the tube, you're supposed to wipe it off each side, and then draw a line like you're putting on eyeliner from inner corner to outer corner of your eye. When I first started using this, the first couple weeks, my eyes were fine and then I'd say maybe a couple months in my eyes start to get a little bit irritated so I stopped using it and I think it was user error I think my eyes were irritated because and I did some research because I over applied product I was so excited to to make this work that I over applied product um, on my eyelashes my eyebrows were fine I had no issues with sensitivity or or irritation on my eyebrows but my eyelashes or my eyes in general were a little bit a little bit red and and puffy so I stopped using it for a little while 
because I wasn't really seeing results in the beginning. I, I'm, I can be very impatient sometimes. And so I was like, oh, this isn't working. Like, I wasted $100 on this tube. But I said, you know what? I'm going to stick through it. I'm actually going to try it and see if it works. And it works. So when I started using it again, I was consistent. I used it every day for, I want to say, three, four months. But I noticed it starting to work within the first two months. My eyebrows started growing in on top towards the end, the tail. My eyelashes, I, you could see like new eyelashes poking, poking through, like new growth. And then my other eyelashes that were all the ones that I already have, were growing longer and curling. Like I was getting my natural lashes back as when I had them when I was younger. So I kept using it and using it and you're only supposed to use it for three months every day. After three months, you're supposed to use this product every other day up until nine months. That's typically when, how long the bottle will last you. If you have sensitive eyes, uh, I would suggest reading the ingredients list to see if this product is right for you. Oh, and you want to know something else? So, I didn't know certain products can affect people who have had cancer or had gone through chemo. And when I was doing my research, um, people who have gone through cancer or have had cancer um, can use this product only six months after their last chemo treatment. So I've never seen it before on any other website. I've never seen a section of of can people who have cancer or can people who have who have gone through cancer or going through chemo or radiation can they use this product so it's very interesting to read so if um if you know someone who has suffered from hair loss or has gone through something as devastating as that i would definitely look into this product to kind of kickstart the regrowth of of uh, of their hair um, people who have eyelash extensions can also use this product. Um, it won't interfere with your extensions. If anything, it'll just help your the hair that you have on your eyelashes grow even more. People who have contact lenses or who use contact lenses, I myself am a contact lens wearer, and I use this and I have no problem um, with it when I have my contacts on. You can use this product under makeup. You only um, you apply it to fresh clean skin and let it dry for a couple minutes before applying any product cream eyeliner anything on top of uh on top on your face or on top of this this product if you want to know the ingredients list for this product you can find it on your website um i'm not exactly sure i'm just reading it right now i'm not exactly sure what the exact ingredient is of this product that makes it work. Um, I should do a little bit more research on the ingredients to, to kind of see what makes this product work because I know naturally some people use, I believe there is a mixture of, uh, people use a mixture of castor oil or coconut oil and they apply that on their eyebrows and eyelashes. Now I personally have not tried that so I don't know if it works. I just kind of saw this product and heard about it and heard her speak about it and was intrigued and did a little bit of a little bit of research about it if it works other people have used it that's why i wanted to try it so i guess if you're a little weary about the ingredients in here again I, like i said go through the ingredients list and see if there's anything that might um, interfere with your skin type or if it's something that maybe can can irritate you or irritate your eyes if you have sensitive eyes um or maybe try that trick you can there's tons of people online on youtube who post videos about natural using natural products to to enhance or to kickstart the growth of eyelashes and eyebrows so this line i envy also carries um a mascara and also carries an eyebrow product. Now, I haven't tried those two, but I would love to. So the eyebrow pencil um, comes in multiple shades from light to from the lightest blonde to the darkest black hair, black eyebrows. And that product is $21 plus tax. And the mascara is 
29 plus tax or is it yes it is 29 plus tax um if you can't find someone who sells them i highly suggest it because if you could save yourself a little bit of money, I would. I paid 100 bucks cash for my product, um, so I didn't really pay tax. Whereas if you go to a retailer, you'd have to pay the, the base price plus tax. So I know it might be like $10, $13, depending on what size or what product you're, you're buying, but save $10. All right, guys, I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. Overall, I think it's a really great product. I will definitely repurchase it because I have noticed the difference in the volume of my eyelashes and the thickness of my eyebrows. I know... Um, Family members of mine haven't wanted to try it, they weren't sure, so they're like, we'll just wait until you're done and see how them eyebrows grow. And they grew. You're welcome. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in my next video.